In sagittal craniosynostosis, the midline, or sagittal suture, fuses together too early. Because the baby's brain keeps growing, the sutures that aren't closed make more bone than they normally would. The uneven growth results in an elongated head shape. At Children's Hospital Colorado, our multidisciplinary team specializes in complex craniofacial conditions and will help guide you through a few surgical options using advanced tools like 3D virtual surgical planning and evaluation. The first option is an open surgery for babies between 3 and 12 months of age. Your surgeon will make a wavy incision on top of your child's head. We make the incision wavy to help hide the scar under your child's hair. Next, the skin and soft tissues are gently lifted away from the top of the skull. The surgeons will then remove a portion of the fused sagittal suture. After this is done, several cuts will be made into the bones on either side. These cuts will help reshape the skull and allow it to expand. Your surgeon may make additional cuts to the forehead if necessary. Over several months, the skull will completely heal, restoring your child's skull to a more typical shape. Another option is a minimally invasive endoscopic surgery, where a small camera and instruments are placed through two small incisions, which are both hidden within the hairline. This surgery option is best for younger babies between two and five months of age. First, the fused sagittal suture is removed. Your surgeon may also place extra triangular cuts to help reshape the skull. After this procedure, your child will need to wear a helmet to keep reshaping the skull. Again, over several months, your child's skull will heal into a more typical shape. Following endoscopic surgery, your child will usually stay at Children's Colorado overnight and go home the next day. After open surgery, your child will stay one to two days. For more information, call the Cleft and Craniofacial Center at the number below.